Hello, hello, hello. I am Jake. I am a syndicalist. This is Jake the Syndicalist. Um, so yesterday's video, at least when I recorded it for me, was on syndicalism. I thought it'd be a good video to do first, because I'm a syndicalist, and explain that kind of thing. So today, we are doing another wacky ideology, revisionist Maximilianism. I think you'll enjoy it. I don't know much about it. This time, I'll actually show the Wikipedia page, so I hope y'all enjoy that. Um, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, let's go to it now. So, revolutionist Maximilianism was a short-lived Jewish fascist ideology and was part of Brit Harabon's faction of the Zionist revisionist movement created by Abba Hamir. Or Hamir. Ideology was a faction of, was the ideal and political faction of revisionist Maximilianism was created by the same guy, Jewish historian, journalist, and politician. He called for the, Zion, the ZMRM to adopt fascist principles, like Mussolini did, and enter this pure nationalism among Jews. He was part of the Jewish labor movement, supported the October Revolution, so, and he called for Jews to have their own 1917 um, October Revolution for Zionism. However, he you know, disloomed with Russian Bolshevikism, which he came to see as Russian nationalism, movement rather than promote the inertial or the international class struggle, which delusion of communism grew nationalistic after Arab violent Arab Jewish violence in the British Mandate of Palestine. Um, he rejects communism, humanism, internationalism, liberalism, pacifism, and socialism. A lot of things to reject. Um, he, he condemns Zionists for only working with middle-class Jews rather than the, than the Jewish nation as a whole. After the rise of anti-Jewish violence in the British Mandate of Palestine one year prior, in support of the ZRM sword, um, the Brit Harabon was the largest ZRM faction. Um, oh, the Brit Har Harabon is the same thing. Oh, really? Under his leadership, they declared their desire to be a fascist state, claimed that Jewish would outlast the Arab rule, the really region of Palestine, and, um, Movements were fierce opponents of pacifism. They promoted militarism and demonstrated in 1932. Norman Bent Winch's inaugural lecture on peace, which he said, it is not cathedral international peace in the name that Bent Winch, that we need, but a military academy of, I'm not going to try to say that, but... If y'all want to look at that, there you go. You can pause it. And said we can defend the honor of Israel. Or Israel. Um, not filling our bettings lectures. We must learn the doctrine of him. Mir said his ideology would be a neo -re 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 revisionism within the Zionist movement that he criticized. Advocated for the meaning of Hatzvar in Vienna. Um, more stuff. So before we go to ideology, let me check the time. Oh wow, this is going to be a short one. Um, Reven revisionist Maximilianus uh, supported Italian fascists and Mussolini. They wanted to create a Jewish state based on the fascist principles. And revisionist Maximilianist became the largest faction in the ZRM. I know y'all can read this, but it helps me understand it. Um, and but collapsed in th in 1933 over he supported Nazi Germany. Yeah, due to its fascist anti-communism stance while opposing their anti-Semitic policies. Yeah, I mean, huh. I don't know if that works. After facing outrage, he revised his position shortly, 
and re revisionist uh, maximalist attacking German consulates, but he but his support never recovered until it collapsed and was recreated in 1938 under new leadership. The label of fascist has never less been regarded with its reserves because of that period. It often abuses or disappoints between the political non-fascist faction and even the social democrat parties accuse Stalin and communists of being fascist or social fascist in the same way. Same way in Palestine, revisionist Zionists all, themselves were qualified were often qualified in 1930s as fascists. By the uh, labor Zionist leaders, the revisionists attacked the Social Democrat dominate General Confederation of Labor and Ben Gurren. I'll put this up for a second. There you go. By use of terms like Red Squasica in their comparison with fascism and Hitler. Uh, here's the sources for this article on um, that kind of thing. Um, so, there wasn't a lot of, um, like, a whole lot of information, but I found it very interesting. So give me a second, I'll come out of this, and I'll go back. Hello, this is Jake from 10 Minutes After I recorded the part about the Wikipedia page, and Jewish fascism. Interesting. Also... Jew who supported Hitler. Also very interesting. Um, yeah, so I've had some time to sit on it, and it's like, Jewish fascism is pretty normal, except when it hits the wacky scale. I mean, when you're talking about political ideologies, you have your cultural axis, your economic axis, and your wacky axis. You want me to do a video about culture and economic accesses and that kind of thing, um, I'd love to do it, just tell me. Um, yeah, so this is pretty culturally and economically fascist, where it's economically capitalist, culturally right-winged, but it's very wacky saying it has part of Jewish values, which actually wouldn't be that different from normal fascism. So, um, I found, what's his name, um, Abba Ahamir, pretty weird guy, but, I mean, we're all weird, um, so for a while, I didn't realize his group was called the Brit, oh, wait, oh, he's an actual guy, I think, no, yeah, Brit Haraburum is a, was a a fascist faction of the RMZ or the ZRM. It says revisionist Zionist movement, but well, it's abbreviated ZRM. Huh. But anyway, um, I found it interesting. Um, like you you don't associate Judaism with fascism, do you? I find it kind of wacky, but that's what it's supposed to be. It's wacky. Um, yeah. So, um, support bombing German, German embassy, Nazi embassies. I approve of. Um, yeah. I mean, I find it kind of wacky, but I mean, it's, it's no, it's nothing different from Christians want to set up their own ethno state. This is a Jewish ethno state. Would be a Christian ethno state. There are currently Islamic ethno states. It's nothing really new. It's not that far up the wacky scale. I mean, it seems wacky at first, but think about all the ethno states there are. Normally, they're kingdoms, but it could easily be fascist. And normally, an ethno state that is fascist normally turns into a kingdom. So, it's not that odd about. Um, like, it, th them pushing ethno, Jew a Jewish ethno state. Nothing new there. Um, yeah. I don't know what else to say. That was kind of my thing on the, uh, rev revisionist Maximilianist. Sorry, I couldn't go into more detail.
If you want me to do a second video on it, I could do some more research, but that's to y'all. Like, subscribe, dislike. Do whatever you would please. But please watch the videos. I think I've got 20 people to watch my first video. It's like this accomplishment for like my first video. I mean, come on. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. Have a good afternoon, night, morning, day, whatever.